A visit to the Hube Line Tower in Simsbury, Connecticut may not be for everyone. In fact, it may be one of the toughest museums in the state of Connecticut to get to. That's because you have to hike a mile and a half along the top of Talcott Mountain to reach just the base of the tower. After that, it's another 120 steps up to the top of the observation deck. But the reward is breathtaking. A 360 degree view of the Farmington River Valley below. That view is most definitely worth the trip, according to Connecting Points' Dave Fraser, who took a visit recently and shares the story. As you travel along Route 202 through the Farmington Valley in the towns of Avon and Simsbury, there is a tall stone structure visible on the top of Talcott Mountain. This structure is the Hubline Tower, and it is currently owned and maintained through a cooperative effort between the state of Connecticut and the Friends of Hubline Tower. Jay Willerup is president of the Friends of Hubline Tower. Or is it Highbline Tower? There's actually three pronunciations. Highbline is the family, Hubline is the business, and the actual correct Bavarian pronunciation is Hoibline. However you choose to say it, there is no doubt that the view from the top offers an amazing 360 degree experience. Once you get to the top, again, you, you look all the way out towards New York, uh, at Mohawk Mountain, uh, up into uh, Massachusetts, Mount Tom, down to the south towards uh, Sleeping Giant in Hamden, and you see Hartford and Springfield. Most people uh, are excited to have made it to the top. One of the most common questions is uh, how many steps, uh, you know, how much farther is it? Because once you've reached the tower, you've still got 165 feet to go. Uh, and you can do that in 120 steps up and then another uh, 120 steps to get back down. Gilbert Hubline moved to Hartford with his family in the mid-1800s. He promised his fiancée that he would build her a castle on a mountain. He was here with his fiancée, uh, Louise, and he had walked up here and uh, said, someday I'm going to build you a castle here. And he was 65 in 1914 and he started it then. The Hubelines were members of Hartford's social elite. Gilbert's father began a restaurant and hotel business in 1862, and the company began manufacturing A1 steak sauce and later Smirnoff vodka. The tower was used mainly as a summer retreat from the city. It is complete with luxurious bedrooms, a kitchen, and living areas on each floor, as well as the first residential elevator in Connecticut. On the top floor was a ballroom, now known as the Observation Deck, where the Hublines hosted parties and entertained their many house guests. They would arrive in the spring and uh, bring anywhere from uh, three maids, a chauffeur and a cook, as well as themselves. And uh, this would be just be a, a, an entertainment venue and they would come up here for the weekends or a week here at a time. It represents uh, Gilbert's German heritage from Bavaria. If you look at a lot of the Bavarian uh, pictures of uh, back where he was from, there's actually a tower that's very similar to this. Gilbert died in 1937 and for six years the tower stood empty. It was later purchased by the Hartford Times newspaper and once again became a place for parties and social gatherings for nearly 20 years. The state of Connecticut's Department of Energy and Environmental Protection was able to purchase the tower in 1966 and along with the Friends of Hubline Tower, they are doing restoration work and continuing to educate the public on the past, present and future of this unique structure. Uh, the Friends of Highline Tower were formed in 1985 uh, by Pat Highline, one of the family members. And uh, it's really to kind of help augment the state and uh, start to do some of the restoration work. And we also like to educate people on, uh, on the lifestyle that the Highline's had here and uh, what it represents to that era. And uh, we like to have people hike up here and enjoy the views and foliage and all the other things that have going on here. We encourage people to make the hike. It's very doable. Uh, I, I usually try and make an effort to not miss it. If I'm here visiting with the public, visiting with my staff, I make a point to go up to the observation deck myself and take in the view and appreciate it uh, just as the public does so that I can you know, better understand what the public is, what the reward that they're seeing at the end of that hike. 